Hey Gemini, it's Empress Rose here. Welcome to your reading. These are general readings, so we take what works and we leave what doesn't, as with everything in life. We're going to start off with an intuitive vibe and then move into an actual tarot spread. So we're starting off with this Botanical Inspirations. It's a uh, Victorian era illustrations with Victorian era interpretations of what the car, what the flowers of flowers, right? And of what the flowers meant um, to them uh, in that era. So what are we working with here? What kind of energy is Gemini this week? Anything? Okay, now the whole deck wants to come out. What do we have for Gemini? All right. This is wild. Okay, well, how are you? What have you been up to? Hope your week's going well. Hit that subscribe button while we're waiting. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, Amerilis, determination and creative achievement. You can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. Maya Angelou, Amerilis, awesome. It's just, it's almost Amerilis season too. Trumpet gentian, uh, flower power, <laughs> flower power and healing. We'll just call it flower power and healing to get what you love first have to be patient with what you have okay but it is like a determination and creative achievement it is try striving for something so power in healing being happy with what you have being grateful showing gratitude for what you have uh, can help you bring in more because you're very determined to do something and Gerbera Daisy, purity, cheerfulness, innocence. The present moment is filled with joy and happiness. If you are attentive, you will see it. Take not harm. So we have sort of a split focus here. Something in the future, getting what you want, but also loving what you have. Being in love with your life as is, the way it is today, does not preclude you from striving for a better future. It just means being grateful and being positive about where you're at today. And then... Um, and but with you're still you're still trying to it's not giving up on the future at all. In fact, being happy with your day to day and with um, your life today is uh, will open doors for the future for you. And it also allows you to be happy in the future, because so oftentimes we put our happiness off to when this happens, when that happens, when this happens. And then uh, that happens. And we're so much we're so used to the vibe of our happiness is out there someplace that it's hard to accept that right now. So in a way, you're preparing for the future by being happy for today because happy with your life today and finding acceptance and the joys that you can find today for the measure of, you know, health, wealth and um, happiness um, that you have today um, will open that door for you to really enjoy the future. To be able to enjoy whatever you achieve in the future you know it's like those people that scrimp and save their whole lives for retirement and then retire and cannot spend money because they've spent 60 years saving and scrimping for retirement and now that they're at the moment that they've been preparing for their mind is trapped back here with not being able to enjoy that not being able to take any money out not being able to use that money um, that they because of the mentality so it's a little bit of a balance like yeah you got to be saving for retirement right but you also have to be um, able to training your mind to be able to enjoy retirement once you get there to be able to enjoy rewards and enjoy every day okay lecture complete let's go on to the tarot spread here Gemini, this is your past, your present, your inner landscape. What's at issue? Your environment, your to-do list, and your possible outcome. Awesome oh, cards I haven't seen for a while. Sometimes these cards like get in a little rut, and one's like, I me, my turn, my turn again and again and again and again. Man, I'm just amazed you didn't get the King of Pentacles reverse. That guy's shown up everywhere lately. It's good. Um, okay, in your recent past, you have the lovers. The Lovers is about um, meeting up with the path of joy, with the path that you love, um, but 
a decision has to be made. Are you going to go with, um, with what you love or are you going to go with what makes sense and what's reasonable? So that's what the lover's card means to me. It's a lot of that Romeo and Juliet vibe, you know, going with something you love, even if you're 14 and, um, and, and your families don't like it. Your families, it did end up to be a bit of a disaster. So, um, but it was not approved. It didn't make sense to anybody else. It only made sense to them, to their hearts. So we all have those forks in the road where we have to make a decision. Are we going to go with something that calls us or are we going to go with what's expected? And then right underneath that, we have this 10 of wands here about what's expected, about other people's expectations, other people's ideas, other people's shoulds that we're carrying. Um, um, and so this lover's choice is about meeting with someone um oftentimes um the things that we love really don't make sense they don't fit into our lives very neatly they um you know we're supposed to be doing this we're supposed to be uh we're supposed to be on this path i want to say like we're supposed to be um going back to school to get a degree not reading tarot cards we're supposed to be this is the one that makes sense and to, to further our education, but this is the one that feels right to us and nobody's understanding that and getting that, that that's, that's what we're making a choice like that, right? So this could be, you know, going into engineering or music, like those two things. Engineering sounds really great. Uh, you can, but Jim Carrey has a great quote, you can fail at what you don't love also, right? So you might as well do what you do love. So that's the philosophy that the lover's card presents to us. Is are you going to go with what makes sense with what you think society wants from you? Are you going to go with something that you truly love and truly makes your heart sing? Um, because success, you know, any, situa any path you take is going to require work. So theoretically, at least, loving that work is really important. There are also super great reasons to go the other direction. I mean, and so the lovers presents just this choice um, where both of them, one of them's never gonna, one of those choices is never gonna end up on your spreadsheet, never does. Um, and uh, because it's just illogical and, um, but it calls to you somehow. So it, it's, a, it's a hard choice and there's not really a clear answer that I can come down because sometimes we do have to make a more practical choice in our life. Um, and that's where we're at and that's the resources we have and that's the situation where we have. I think, I don't really know how it works, honestly. Um, but that's the choice. I know that there are choices we have to make, but I don't, I don't know that there's a clean shot on either one of them. One that makes sense, it promises that it's going to work out. It's the safety career, but we don't have safety careers anymore. It's the safety relationship, but those don't exist. So, so it really... You know, it's something that looks like it's what you're supposed to do and what you want to do. It's that fork when those two things are different. So that's the lovers. Are you going to take the path of love, the path of heart, or the path of um, of um, that's supposed to be predictable, supposed to be safe, and supposed to be the sure thing? Um, and then I think you picked you picked a path and you didn't like it. You didn't like how it turned out. Um, and you're grieving over it. This is five of cups. We've got two cups spilled. You're grieving over the path that you took. You didn't, you don't like it. And either it's because it's the path of heart and it, it's too fucked up and, and the situation's just never coming together or it's the path that seemed to make sense and now it didn't. Like, it, like that Jim Carrey quote I was saying, like you can fail at what you don't want to do. You can fail at what you don't want to do. So you might as well try failing at what you do want to do because um, you're more willing to put in the work and, and, and put up with, um, with failures and, and difficulties and, and barriers if you love it, right? So five of cups, you don't, like, you don't like the decision that you made. You regret it. There's a lot of regret here. There's kind of some not moving on yet, not willing to move on. And that's okay because we got to like look at what we did and understood, understand why we made the decisions that we made and with a lot of compassion um, for this natural grief process, you know, times it's water under the bridge right now. That decision was made um, and that doesn't mean you have to stick with it. It just means it was made. Decisions were made. Consequences follow. That's apparently I'm quoting a lot of um, 
Bernard Corn Cornwall right now. <laughs> but decisions were made uh, today in these readings. Decisions were made. Um, consequences followed. You regret. You're regretting something. You regret. I think the decision that you made. Um, and um, you can't go back in time and do it, but at some point you're going to realize that there's still time to do the other thing. There's still these these three of cups, still full of possibility, waiting for you to um, waiting for you to finish this very natural, normal grief process of moving forward with what you know now, moving forward with the wisdom that you have now, um, and what you've learned. Um, so, you know, it's. You're just you're just kind of sitting in your regrets right now, which is fine. It's how we learn. We we learn a lot by doing something, regretting the decision, looking at what went into that decision, why we made the decisions that we did, and learning about ourselves, learning about you know what what we actually wanted. I mean, right now he's learning that he really wanted five cups of wine, and he's lost two of them. So he, there's a lot to learn here. He's learning that. When you kick and scream and there's a bunch of, he's learning maybe don't put your wine glasses on the floor. He's learning maybe don't like start dancing when there's a bunch of wine glasses. I mean, you know, there's a lot to learn here. Uh, a lot to figure out about what he does want. Um, he knows what he doesn't want anymore though. <laughs> That's for sure. So then we have this knight of coins here. Um, we have this, uh, in your hopes, fears, inner landscape, you're looking at something, you want to go for it. You're thinking about going for something. The knights uh, can be a little bit bold. The knight of coins, did I say wands? It's not wands, it's coins. Very slow moving. So uh, very sure-footed, slow moving. He's a slow moving knight of the deck. Most of them are, are a little bit reckless because they're brave. A knight has to be brave in order to go slay some dragons and your neighboring kingdom's knights. And in order to joust, you got to be brave, which can translate to a little bit of recklessness sometimes. But the knight of coins is far from reckless. He is plotting. Right now he's plotting and plotting. He's plotting on how to get that coin. He really thinks through all his moves. He's like the chess player of the knights. The other knights are, are play checkers. This knight plays chess. He's really going to think about all the moves he needs to make to get to that coin. He wants something. So you're thinking about you want something. You're not going to be reckless. Um, and you're plotting on how to get it. And you're plotting several moves in advance. Um, so you're thinking about hoping to be able to achieve that, to get that, and possibly get back on the other path, the path you didn't take back here. Um, and, uh, and yeah, you're, you're plotting and plotting. Not moving very fast though, because you're not going to do this reckless. You're going to do this right this time. Um, and then what's at issue here is this three of cups though. This is, oh man, I'm, <laughs> if you wanted to be a musician, you're not making music right now. And it's very sad because a lot of musicians are not making music right now. Hopefully you're practicing at home so that you can come out real good at the end of this uh, whole situation. So three of cups, this is not getting, what's the issue is not getting together with your friends, not singing. Uh, could have been an affair. I don't usually see that with the three of cups, but one of them's distracted and it is in the reverse. So it's just like possibly a friend group issue going on. This isn't happening. Some, some sort of, uh, poor relations, poor relationships, um, difficult relationships, difficult. There's a group here that's supposed to be celebrating and getting along. Ideally, that's what they would be doing, but they really aren't right now. I'm seeing a lot of dogs. There's like a lot of, there's, there's a white dog, two white dogs up here. I don't know what this means. Some sort of loyalty, some sort of loyal faithfulness, I want to say. And then we got another dog right here. He wants to join the party. There's no party going on. And that's a little bit of what the problem is right now. There's just no party. So maybe, you know, this goal inquires networking, inquires requires getting together with people and you just can't do it right now. There's not any getting together right now. So it's going to be hard for you to meet up with the people that you want to meet up with um, and network and, and get where you want to go because you're very determined. So here, this is very determined, very determined and determination and creative achievement. So I am really thinking that you, you did want to go down a more creative pathway than what you ended up doing and you regret that. Um, Purity, cheerfulness, and innocence. So you gotta, you've got you got to be happy with where you're at right now because this place you want to go, these three of cups, 
that you, you, you're you thinking about, it's not going to come in right away. So you've got to be happy. This is like the, the from that other deck, the Oracle Mystical Moments, this is like a long way home where there's a long trip going on here. Um, it's going to take you a long time to get where you need to go because you can't get together with people. You can't, you, there's some sort of sharing, some sort of group activity that needs to happen with this and it's not going to happen. And so you need to be happy with where you're, you need to get okay with this situation that's already happening with it, with this loss, with this, you, you, you took the wrong path and you've got to get okay, at least with the path that you're on while you're also plotting and plotting to sort of, uh, jump jump the tracks to the other train tracks to the other jump trains I'm seeing I'm seeing you like you took the one train and now you're seeing an opportunity or you're not seeing an opportunity you're hoping to see an opportunity where the train you really wanted to take and then you're gonna just hop onto the train where you want to take but you're gonna have to be on this train for a long time because something's not happening and this is this is gonna move really slowly so that's why we're getting these this Amerilis Trump trumpet gentian um, is um is is going to take you a while to to uh to get on the right to get get back onto the path that you wanted to take um and so then we have ten of wands uh this is in your environment this is um putting down burdens that were never yours to carry you've hit this wall um where we put our burdens down right so it's time to put this down expectations what you thought you were supposed to be doing what you thought you needed to do um putting down uh the burden that is no longer yours to carry or somebody is somebody's putting down a burden that they don't want to be carrying anymore probably um get it moving on from this situation and being ready to move on but there's something in your environment i think in this lover's card you made a choice and took on some burdens and expectations that weren't really yours you didn't really want to do this but you took this path you thought you were supposed to take this path you thought that this was the smart path to take you thought that this is what you wanted to do but now here we have it was not really yours you just you picked it up um and this one has has you picking it up um, another one has it in the back, another deck has it in a backpack where people will just kind of adding your load onto you, but you, you picked it up, um, and you accepted it and took it on. You made that choice. Uh, you maybe didn't understand the choice you were making at the time, but it is like coming to the time where it's time to put that burden down, time to forget about that, that effort, those efforts, um, and, and put them down and move on. So where you're going here. Yeah. Because you don't like where you're at, you're still got to carry these. I think um, where you got where you're going here in this King of Cups energy. So this is a lot of emotional maturity, which is going to take in order to stay in the situation, in order both to move on from these regrets and also to have to um, stay the course here while things don't work out for a while. Because um, your um, determination and creative achievement, purity, cheerful innocence. Um, this you this is about being happy there's a lot about being happy with where you're at even though it's not perfect um and it's not where you want to be anymore but this is um a lot of emotional maturity this king of cups um very zen king of cups are outwardly focused but this is an inward focus because he's dealing with his emotions but he's not He's, he's dealing with his own emotions in, internally. There's a lot of tumult going on here, but his cup is unbothered by this storm. This storm is tipping this whole boat over, but his emotional cup stays steady. So this is about um, a lot of emotional maturity, being very zen, being very um, capable of handling um, a variety of emotional weather, uh, coming through a variety of emotions and just just remaining calm, remaining loving, remaining as, as there's a lot of tumult going on. So the King of Cups is where the energy you're being called into is like, yeah, okay, mis decisions were made, consequences followed, um, and we're not where we want to be anymore, um, but we're going to have to deal with that in a very mature way, a calm way. We're going to have to stay, stay calm in this sort of tumult of, I don't want this anymore, um, we're, we're going to have to deal with that. So our emotions are, are 
you're cueing into your emotions, you, you're understanding them, you're understanding where they're coming from, you're not taking rash action, you're not letting them define you, um, you're not, you know, here's a, this disappointment, you're not letting these disappointments define you, right? You're going to say, this is all about staying positive in the present moment, um, getting creative about how you how you get where you need to go so you're coming out of this where you're you're full of regrets and frustrations and you need to um, sort of remain calm um, yes these regrets and frustrations happened but this is a call to more emotional maturity more emotional stability bring bring your own emotional stability kind of party here we're not having a party but um, bringing your own emotional stability to the party or to the tumult. Um, you've got to provide that yourself. You've got to find that inside yourself because it's not happening in your environment. Your environment is not what you want. It's not conducive to what you want. Um, but you're still going to have to remain strong and remain emotionally stable in that. Where you're going is um, the world. Things are changing in the world. They're actually changing really fast, really quickly. External changes are coming in here. You're going to attempt to protect what's yours, to protect what you have here. Um, to find sanctuary and to find safety um, where you're at maybe you don't like it but maybe it's a pretty safe place to be right now even though it's not really what you want it's not the career you want anymore the relationship you want anymore um, but it might it might provide a sense of safety while the whole world kind of changes um, you're remaining stable you're remaining safe sanctuary uh, you remaining stable and safe allows you to protect other people um, while this whole world um, changes and while there are external changes. So there are external changes coming into your life. Um, they're going to be happening around you and you are remaining stable, re um, protecting your loved ones, protecting your ideas, protecting your dreams while all of these changes happen. So um, it could be where maybe you're regretting the choice, but your choice could be um, if you can just stay, stay, uh, emotionally stable through this difficult time um, things are going to be changing um, and you're you you need to stay safe and stay in a, in a safe and stable place while these changes happen all around you so uh, you might be here for a little bit um, but you need to be determined and planning and plotting for uh, your next moves but right now you're just going to have to uh, try to find some happiness with where you're at right now today all right to Jim and I I hope that that reading was helpful for you. Um, thank you so much for your likes and your comments and your subscribes. I really appreciate them all. I really enjoy interacting with you guys um, in the comments. And if you're looking for a personal reading, I am doing those. Um, so my email should be in the description box and you can email me and I'll let you know what's going on with those. So I hope you have a wonderful week, Gemini.